my lovely lazy bakers or welcome back to the lazy chef first off i must apologize uh, for not being around for a while um, but life has happened as it always does isn't it um, i have gained two new grandsons in the last uh, nine to ten months they're two beautiful beautiful boys and i know that i am totally biased but you know um, so now I'm not just the lazy chef, I am now also Granny Sammy, which is really, really cool. Um, I also want to apologise for the video quality. Um, my Samsung died, uh, my computer died. Um, so that is why another reason why we haven't had any videos. Um, I'm very grateful to my son James, who gave me um, an old laptop, which is absolutely brilliant it's better than my other one and um, I'm having to use my Huawei 20 Pro as opposed to my Samsung so the picture quality is not quite so good but needs must and uh, we must go on so I have decided that I'm going to do an experiment you may have heard of these uh, three ingredient cakes that have been going around the internet um, I've never made one myself but my mum made one the other day and um, it was really delicious. Uh, she used the classic uh, dried fruit, um, orange lemon juice, self-raising flour, and she did add a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. And I know that makes it a four ingredient cake, but you know, you know, I ain't quibbling. It was really, really good, really nice cake. Now one of my top 10 mumsy cakes of all time. So I decided in my crazy, crazy way that I was going to have a little play with this recipe and see if we could make a pina colada cake. I know, I like pina colada. I love the combination of coconut and pineapple and perhaps a tablespoon of rum would uh, make it even nicer. So we'll see. We'll see if we can find the rum. If not, it will be a pineapple and coconut cake. I'm going to have to adjust the ingredients quite a lot because I don't think it's going to need quite so much liquid as um, mum's fruit cake because the... Um, fruit has to be soaked overnight or I think you can also boil it so um, we're gonna see how it goes so wish me luck let's get cooking enjoy so in this bowl I have 800 grams of drained tinned pineapple 200 grams of desiccated coconut and two tablespoons of white rum so now we do have our pina colada cake. I did find the rum. Um, and we're also going to put in a pinch of salt. Uh, we may need more liquid. I don't know yet. Um, I did let the coconut soak in the pineapple for a little while. Now we're going to add uh, two and a half cups of flour, which is about 300, 310 grams. That's self-raising flour. Okay. I think this might be a bit too dry, so we'll see. Give it a good mix in. I haven't a clue what I'm doing, guys. Just remember that, okay? <laughs> did I put the pinch of salt in? I think I did, yes. So I'm going to take the chance and I'm going to put in one cup of the pineapple juice, got a bit of coconut in it as well because it's not looking very cake like otherwise so we have 800 grams of drained tin pineapple 200 grams of desiccated coconut 2 tablespoons of rum, white rum and a cup full of the pineapple juice. And I think we're gonna give that a go and see if that works. So, I've got my tin here. I know this doesn't fit. <laughs> I know this doesn't fit, but um, it will spread out a bit. And I'm gonna put in, wow, it's a lovely stodgy mixture. <laughs> oh, oh, bigger than the tin, actually. always happens to me doesn't it right squidge it down um it won't rise very much but it doesn't matter oh this honestly this smells like a pina colada <laughs> 
I'm going to smooch it round. I want it to actually stay inside that paper if possible. Love this tin. Thank you, Mumsy. Uh, this is a spring form tin. I'm not sure if it needs to be, but there we go. So there we are. And I cannot remember the oven. I think it's 160 fan. Obviously, I'll stick the text over the video to let you know all the temperatures and times. And I'm now going to put... Oh, Mr. Bit Pineapple. Now, I'm going to put that in the oven and we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Well... I think it may just have worked, you know. So I took it out of the oven. I cooled it in the tin for about an hour. I've just taken out the tin. It's a little bit overcooked on one side because my new oven tends to do that, but I'm not complaining because it's an awesome oven. Um, so when it's cooled down a little bit more, we'll have a little taste and I will give you the God's honest truth about what this cake is actually like. Back soon. So here it is, as you can see, I have tried it and my honest opinion is it's really, really nice, could do with loads more rum and probably 20 minutes to half an hour extra cooking time or maybe 20 minutes, half an hour might be too long. It is very, very stodgy but I put that down to the coconut. Mm. It's really good though. Would be nice with some spices in, would be nice with some clotted cream, carnation cream ice cream really nice pudding it just needs something else it needs to have a hit of some kind so um it's good though so if you try it or maybe you might try a combination of your own um oh i tell you what glacé cherries would be nice in there it'd be like pineapple upside down pudding in a cake it'd be really good <laughs> anyway um so if you try this, um, do let me know. Please come and join us on the Lazy Chef UK on Facebook. Um, and please feel free to comment below, like, subscribe, etc, etc. Buy me a coffee, whatever. Um, anyway, I hope you have a really good day and it's really nice to be back. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I will see you again soon. Take care, everybody. Mwah.